We have got to learn to get on the inside so that any windows we break always from the inside out and never from the outside in. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Go ahead. All right. What is it considered? What does it fall under? Exactly. It falls under sovereign nations. Any individual who can prove that they have a link. If you just jump up step and say, I'm a Native American, I'm a Cherokee, they'll say, which Cherokees agree with you that we have on record as Cherokees? No, I can do it as an individual because I can prove by the name York that I am linked into Ben York, who links in the old York, who links in the use of Ben Ali, who got those petitions. Now, then I can say, you are my extended family. You with me? This is my brother, cousin, and she's married to my uncle, and so we are extended family. So I can put forth a, a, a petition that you are petitioning me. And I'm saying, right, he's a Washita. Yeah, he's a Yamasi. He's in our tribe. Then you take that petition anywhere and flop it down and go, boom. I have been verified to be a part of the Yamasi tribe by a person who's a Yamasi who have verified who they are. That's how it works. You feel what I'm trying to say? But anybody can go try to do it. And they might succeed, I hope them. But we do have a system working. And we hope don't get disturbed by our own people messing it up. Yeah. Way in the back. I already knew mine. Okay. Yes, but what will happen? Is, I don't. I don't know what you. I don't know the motives. So let me let me work with you. Yes, but if you're playing this game, like I know people that say they're Elohims. I'm an Elohim. I'm an Anunnaki. And somebody goes, I get upset. You know, like, oh, come on. We don't need. We don't need the. We don't need the added nuts going down there, making us as coming in with legit arguments look like nuts. So don't go down there with damn Indian feathers on, saying, I am a Cherokee because my grandmother was a Cherokee, and pick up a woman out with straight hair and say, because my grandmother has straight hair, that's how I know she's a Cherokee. Because when we get down there to the international courts, and enough American Negroes come there with that bull crap, you know what's going to happen? They're going to change the law. Indigenous people started 1992, ends 2000. You can tell me you are Shoshone, and I will ask you from which reservation. Let me see the, the certificate. If I don't ask you, I'm just respecting your request or your wish. Prove it to me. So if black people just start standing up saying, I am a this, I am a that, the devil is going to alter the law. And he has no grim gripes about changing laws. Yes? What's the proof? Okay, well here's the disadvantage of being a Cherokee. The Cherokee, as I told you all years ago, sold out. If you go up to North Carolina where the Cherokee Reservation is in the Smoky Mountains, those jobs sold out. They, played, they paid tax to the government. So being a Cherokee makes you just American. But you gotta find out which tribe your grand great grandmother was in before she joined that band of people who didn't want to fight with us but sold out. The Pone, who were part of Seminole, sold out and became scouts for the Caucasians against us. Our own people. You follow that? When they show you the Pone, they show you these guys with this black straight hair. No. There were Negroes fighting in the Confederate war were Pone, were Cherokee, uh, Cheyenne, a variety of tribes, um, what's the other one? Oshit, Washita, meaning the Washita, some of them sold out and was fighting against us. You gotta make sure when you step down the path you don't step on the wrong side. Old York was a sellout. The Duke of, I mean, um, Sergeant York, who's one of my relatives, was also a sellout. He fought with the, what do you call those guys? The black troops, um, 
The Buffalo Soldiers. They pump you up, the Buffalo Soldiers. Buffalo Soldiers was Toms. They sold out the family and fought against and massacred Native Americans. He's in the family. I may not like it, but it's truth, it's truth. I'm not gonna hide it. You know what I'm trying to say? If Ben York wasn't a sellout, he wouldn't have been running around with Lewis and Clark and them interpreting things for the Native Americans. But when they betrayed him and it got personal, he set them up and altered the treaty of the Louisiana Purchase so that they didn't buy anything but the police barracks downtown. And those documents were verified. A sister in Louisiana, uh, Verdiachi Empress, brought it up, went to court, proved her, proved her case, and got 68,300 and some odd acres of land back from the government right now. You follow? And that means the door is open. But if you're not planning on open the door and holding it open and ushering a bunch of people in because you want to do your own thing, then don't mess our stuff up because you're into yourself. Whoever does it got to hold the door open and get as many people in as we possibly can. Because when they acknowledge uh, Empress Veriachi, a black woman with woolly hair, as a Native American, they open a door. Because before that, you only had one concept of Native Americans. People who were in Oriental looking with round faces with braids running down like this or feathers. Now they're confessing, no, that those people came after the original Native Americans. And that's you. So you have rights, but you've got to go before them right. Don't bug out, and if you go mess it up, don't interfere. If you don't know what you're doing, don't be fronting, in other words, niggas, because niggas be fronting. Don't be fronting. This ain't no time to be fronting and pretending you some shit you ain't. Mess it up for all of us. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, shut up. If you don't know what you're talking about, shut up before you mess us all up. Because we know we talk too damn much. That's our problem. I'm sitting there telling y'all laws I should be keeping private and just getting it done. But y'all be probing, you want to know, what's this, what's that, what's this? If I didn't, if I said I'm going to take your bill, what's he up to? You stealing our money? What's he trying to do? So I said, I'll tell you what I'm doing. So don't now, can I do it? No, you can't do it. If you did, you wouldn't be asking me, could I do it? You know. You understand? So don't mess it up. Because a person in my age, 52 years old, got to be doing it for you. I ain't doing it for myself, but I got 10 more years before I might not even know what the word Washita means. I'm trying to get it done for the young people and they got more to fight after that until it's all straight. Until we can tell them, get off of our land. Take your bombs and your wars and your politics and your racism and your hate and get the hell off our land. When I say off our land, I mean off of America. I don't mean off of Georgia. I mean go back to Europe where you belong with your evil stuff. And those amongst you that don't want to be evil and want to live right, well, you can live there in peace. But you evil as white people that think everything is based on wars, why are you up there messing with Mars? None of, what would have happened if you'd land on Mars and some Martians would have slapped the hell out of one of y'all? We would have been at war with Mars.